All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, I apologize. Again, a little bit of a hiccup there. You didn't miss anything as far as action is concerned, but unfortunately, you had a hiccup in the stream, but should be back now. And good to go. Uh, anyways, point being, Icon of the Goddess is finished on Dr. Pulsar. And now to Nile Esports, pushing in the bottom lane. You see Rai, though, pointing up top. And Vulnerability coming out right there. He's trying to get a range. Empath inside. He missed the compel, though. Demoralizing Roar is going to be used, but not going to be able to chase him down. The tower is killed in the Legion's favor. But the Nile does push the bottom once again. See Wretched Hag now roaming away as well. 15 more hundred gold on her. That's shrunken at more than in the works. Helm of the Black Legion on Keizu. Bulking himself up a little bit. It's a Shaman's Headdress choice on Slapped. Playing the Ophelia, so. Earlier on, Barry Otto going to be coming out here. A beautiful pickup for his team here in this case. For who they're going against. Speaking of Engineer not being level 6, we stressed that last game. <laughs> This game, the same thing, but for a different player. Moon Meander's having troubles getting the levels up this game. Only level 5 here. Definitely need that level 6, though, for the uh, energy field, of course. Top lane, Tempest. Rally's looking to set up. I don't think he can kill him by himself. More so just going to see uh, if any... Opportunities arise perhaps with somebody else, but yeah, I don't think he's killing that by himself. In fact, he'll probably just clean up the creep wave as Tempest is going to teleport away anyway. So pick up some farm up there. Speaking of Tempest, looks like he's going into the next item, shrunken now himself. And as usual, let's look at the Hellborn team. What can they stop with it? It's just the uh, excuse me, just Skeleton King here, which he has three of them. <laughs> he's ready for that, to say the least. This lap is good to go with the Skeleton Kings. So Portal Key was picked up by Probusk here, and now he too is working on the Shrunken End next. More of that aggressive jump play, Engineer. <laughs> yeah, they were looking to catch him in the middle, but he falls back before he does, and again, he's trying to get those levels, but he knows if he pushes up right there, he's probably dead, so. Those tough spots to be in. Dr. Repulsor finding Arcana. Looks like the Hellflower going to be coming out next for him. Congor is going to be attempted here by uh, Denali Sports. Going to look to clean this up now. And this is going to absolutely happen. Too much sugar. Gonna push top in the meantime. They probably know what's going on. Just don't feel comfortable being able to stop this. So we'll see a token of life on Hag. Yeah, Richard Hag. And the shrunken head again. It's just around the corner. Two top lane. They catch Tempest right here. Seismic slam. It connects. In comes Richard Hag. Empath inside of Hag. Nice wall off right there. And Tempest did not stand a chance. Flensmeister cleaning up right there. So they get the Congo kill. They pick off Tank of Fed playing the Tempest. And now they're going to push out the lanes once again. So Denial continuing to be in an excellent spot here. As the game moves on. Good Empath having the as one. It's This is one of those games where not, not the most ideal candidate in terms of being able to use their ultimate on, on, on a, the right click hero. But at the same time, it's still very beneficial. So not that big of a deal. And they're going to push up top. Portal Key finally purchased by Pebbles. Able to get the Portal Key here. <laughs> so definitely took a lot longer than they wanted. But at least they have the PK now. Better late than never. They also have a level 6 Engineer on top of that. I don't know if they're going to be looking to fight this or not, though. Pebbles hasn't shown the PK just yet. But, yeah, probably not going to be fighting it. Top tower easily destroyed, and the lead continues to grow. 9,600 gold lead, 7,500 experience it about. 
Dr. Repulsor just going to push out the bottom lane in the meantime. So Denali Esports is doing a good job of taking advantage of what TMSR is giving them here. They're just going to clean out all the outer towers and eventually use this token of life, I'm sure, to push in. You see bottom lane they poured in. Dr. Repulsor, though, jetting away quickly. He still has that ludicrous speed, obviously. Very difficult here to catch on the ball lighting. Holy crap, he hits! Holy crap, what a hit from Propus! And down goes Axerin. Oh my god, talk about a blind stun, man. Oh man, what a stun from Ravener. And that is a huge, huge kill. Not only is it on Dr. Repulsor, a hero that obviously you want to kill out of all the heroes in TMSR, but at the same time, it also delays him even further now from the Hellflower to be picked up. Big catch coming out from Ravener. And now they're going to push out the bottom lane here, the bottom secondary tower, the only tower remaining here. Wretched Axe is also level 16. Grimoire Power, Shrunken Head finished. Denal continuing to be in a very good spot in game number three. It really reminds me of the State Green series. Denal takes the first game. Pretty comfortable win. Game two, State Green just stomped them. TMSR to an extent kind of doing that, obviously, in game two as well. But then in game three, Denal kind of regroups, regathers their composure. And they play well once again. And that's pretty much what we're seeing here, so. Easy bottom tower push. They get the hero kills. Top play once again. Ravener actually catches Pebbles. And now Pebbles in a lot of trouble. Pebbles is going to end up falling. It, it, there's a lot of rinse and repeating going on here. There's a lot of uh, same things happening over and over, it seems like. One hero just gets pushed up a little too far, trying to counter. He gets picked off. And Denali just pushes out once again after that. So Hag, the token of life, about 320 remaining on it. We'll probably start seeing the into the lane and pushing into the base here in the near future for Denial. And no reason to let TMSR get more time to recover and get back into this game. Hellflower still in the works once again on Dr. Pulsar. I believe he still needs the two Hellflower, or two Arcanas here. <coughs> Before he has the Hellflower finish, so... Bottom lane, Ravener and Rally. Ravener with the double damage room bottled up. <coughs> Shrunken Head's going to be on cooldown here currently, but not for much longer. Seems like this is going to be the lane of choice here. Going to go bottom. Wretched Hag on her way. Did she buy? Yeah, she bought a Blessed Orb. So Sheepstick for her. Going to be in the works too. But using that token alive, 220 remaining on it. TMSR are going to do what they can to hold us off. This could be a final fight for them if they're not careful. Want to find the prime spot. They chuck in right down to Wretched Hag. The poor man's portal key backwards. Ravener jumps on a Tempest though. Tempest being somewhat locked down. He's going to be fine initially. Seismic Sam off to the side. One kill. The Tempest ultimate. It locks him down. Kind of. Bat blast hitting. Dr. Pulse are forced to run away. He will be fine. But the Tempest ultimate, unfortunately, not doing enough. And now take offense in trouble. Take offense will barely live. No, he won't. Rally jumps in. Nobody dead just yet on the Hellboard team somehow. Even with that big time commitment. Now ports are coming in. Pebbles coming back. The nice cover right there. Dr. Repulsor jumps in. Crack it up to the side. He doesn't have his ultimate. Down goes Hag with the token of life to bring it right back up. Of course, Ravener with Empath inside doing plenty of damage. Yes, Slick also helping. Wretched Hag in the background putting an auto attack on Tempest now. And Tempest will fall. Dr. Repulsor flies in though after his pie back. And now he's looking to clean up on Empath as well. He will do just that. Hag's looking to finish off Kraken though. A double tap for Flesmeister. A hat trick for Dr. though. And Wretched Hag now going to be on the run. This is going to be interesting. Okay, she's not going to chase. So it ends up being a one-for-one -one fight right here. Rally buys back as well. And he is almost here, actually. So Hag's going to maybe try to bait this out right here. Hag's in. If he goes in, Rally is ready. He's not going to do it, though. So Rally is back, though. Will they try to finish the tower, actually? I don't know about that. Yeah, they are ultimately going to fall back in the end. And that will be the end of that. So, well, a couple of things. Denali Esports... Jumping big time. They uh, they dove quite a bit right there. Always question that, but uh, in the end, so the tower does stay alive. But they did get a lot of kills, including buybacks to be used. At least the one. I think they might have gotten more than that. I want to say at least. I want to say even Kraken and Tempest both bought back there, if I'm not mistaken. So 
Uh, but definitely Dr. Repulsor did. And so even further ahead for Denali Esports. So despite them not getting the tower and lower the racks, pretty good after that. Congor should be up in about another three or four minutes here now. And I'm sure that'll prove to be another big fight coming out. See Wretched Hag just about having that sheep stick now finished. So Dr. Repulster is going to definitely be very vulnerable to that, although his Hellflower also should be done by the time another team fight breaks out. But again, you look at the supporting cast, a lot of struggling going on around him. What are these? Uh, what are revs, though? <laughs> what is that really deep into the base right here? That has to be one of the deepest water sides I've ever seen. It's also one off to the side. <laughs> Damn. Denial Esports getting some pretty good vision there in the Legion base. Ancients being cleared up here by Hag. Again, the sheep stick she has it now. Purchase it. Ravener, where is he going next? 18 more hundred gold on him. Well, it's a start. Right. Sheep stick also on Ophelia, it looks like. So a lot of sheep sticks going to be coming out. Tablet finished on Empath. Is that for him to have? That's a fake wretched hag, of course. And yeah, so I mean, TMSR, they will, obviously they're still alive and they're still hanging in here. And they ultimately still have their whole base intact to an extent, so that's the good news. But the lead does continue to get bigger and bigger for Denali Esports. So the Hellflower is going to be finished here on Dr. Repulsor very shortly. <laughs> I saw the ball lightning uh, on stream right there. So I love about a six minute delay. Alright, so there's the sheep stick purchased by Hag that's gonna be delivered now. Congor gonna be popping up any minute now. Once again, I'm sure that's where everything's gonna start focusing on there. Between these two teams. Dr. Repulsor pushing out the bottom. He just purchased a Hellflower. That's yeah, coming out. Hag is nearby, but let's see. Continues to push out again. Probably going to be fine. Yeah, he's not going to go back to the bottom lane. Really, Denali Esports kind of just boxing out the Congo area, you can tell. Now, there is some decent vision for TMSR in the area. They got a water side here as here. Is there any bound eye? No, there's no bound eye in this game by either side, actually. And Sanitary is picked up by Ravener. It's more of the battle presence now. And Hag's actually just going to push out the bottom lane here. So Legion team, Team SR, the timing, it's got to be popping shortly here. I mean, the way both teams are moving, <laughs> you look at the mini-map, they're in the vicinity. Now. Now. Hey, close enough. All right, so Denali Sports Congor it is. Right into it. Team SR, they're not going to fight it. They're just say, you know what, we can't. <laughs> they, they're just going to have to defend at the base in the end. Then that probably is the better decision. Just try to get uh, your next kill. I mean, um, what are they? They need to shrunk it out on Tempest. Still be stopped by Scott's King, of course, but it's easier said than done. So getting that would be huge going into a fight. And you could argue, maybe even selling that Ring of Sorcery, depending on where the fights out. Like, if they're going to push right now, if he gets back, you know, selling the Ring of Sorcery to finish the Shrunken Head might be uh, might be worth it here. Or the Ashley for that matter. Whichever of the two. The so they push the top tower, but now their base being worked on. So Dr. Pulsar, yep, he does that. He sells the Ring of Sorcery, buys the Shrunken. So here we go. Skeleton King. Where is There's one Skeleton King here for Slapped. Off to the side. Pebble's going to jump in on a wretched egg. Dr. Pulse in the background. Hellfire on a rally, actually. Shrugganhead's going off all over the place, left and right. Ball lighting, jump in. Energy foot in the background. Pebble's coming out. Dr. Pulse on the tab is all over the It's going to be a full duration. It looks like the Skeleton King not going to stop it. But the damage follow-up just not there for TMSR. Pebbles, he's going to end up falling in the foreground. Wretched egg still chasing. 
Tempest gonna go down. Storm's been in here. The seismic slam to take him out as soon as he comes to the ground. And now the racks are gonna be cleared up. Denali Sports just about there. Looks like they are there. GG well played. Denali Sports will take out too much sugar. Two games to one here in the winner bracket semifinals. And they're gonna be moving on to play Lion Esports Club in the winner bracket finals now next weekend for cycle number seven. Damn, I mean, what a trek it is. And what a trek it's going to continue to be for Denial Esports. But man, oh man, they are looking good. They have to take out Stay Green yesterday. They take out too much sugar here today. Can they take out Lion Esports Club as well to move on to the Grand Finals? That would be something. Hell, at this point, though, with this victory, they also secure themselves a top three finish here in cycle number seven. So all reasons, all many reasons to be very happy if you're Denial Esports. And with these victories here, and I think the biggest one of all is the threat that they're showing going into the DreamHack Winter 2013 event. Again, they haven't even technically qualified yet, but uh, they're going to be start participating tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow on Tuesday in the Nordic qualifiers, which I, you know, <laughs> hell, if they play like this, they're going to dominate that event, I would think. So, uh, yeah, expecting them to be at the DreamHack event. And expecting them, you know, obviously, again, making some statements here that they can compete with these other teams here at the top level, and they can they can defeat them. So, uh, Denial Esports must be feeling pretty pretty damn good once again after another very good victory for him, them here. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it once again for more coverage here today. As far as uh, here on Honcast, as far as Hon Tour Cycle Seven, it is going to be coming to an end this weekend. So more great series that we had. Denial, though, they are the champions over Too Much Sugar. And again, they'll be in the winter bracket finals to play Lion Esports Club. Uh, Reason Gaming and TMSR both get knocked down. Stay Green defeating Internet Gangsters instead of, in case you didn't hear that earlier. Uh, Stay Green knocking out Internet Gangsters even. So IG finishing 7th, 8th place here in Cycle 7. A pretty poor finish for them, but... Anyways, enough about Cycle 7. Once again, guys, uh, as far as coverage here on Honcast, we will be coming back tomorrow. I don't know the time exactly just yet. You'll definitely have to stay tuned to the website as well as the Facebook and Twitter. I'll let you guys know by tomorrow, obviously, um, and uh, when we're planning to come on. And then uh, Tuesday, though, is the very important day for the Nordic Qualifiers. Tomorrow is the earlier rounds, but Tuesday is where we actually see which three teams are ultimately going to be going to DreamHack win in 2013 as well from the Nordic qualifiers. So that's the big day, but we will be doing some at least a little bit of coverage tomorrow. And then again, Tuesday coming back to do more on top of that. So, well, another day in the books here on Honcast.com. Some more great Hon that we had. Another great weekend that we had. A lot of fun, really. Some great matches, but no doubt Denali Denali Esports. They're, they're, the, they're the team of the weekend. They're, they're the team to talk about right now on the competitive Hon scene. And for good reason. They are looking pretty damn good. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for tonight here at Honcast. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And we'll be back tomorrow. The Nordic qualifiers for DreamHack Winter 2013 going to be coming at you. We've got another great week ahead of us. More Hon in the books, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you next time.